Connie, Maidenhead United at SJP on Sunday. Um, how much does it mean to you to be playing at SJP again? Um, it's massive. Uh, I remember the first time I played there, I think I was only 16, 17. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do since a young age. Um, I've supported this club since as, for as long as I can remember. So from the first time when we played Plymouth there, well, the first time I played there, and to see how much it's grown and like the tickets we're now selling, it's massive. It means so much to me, and I know it means so much to the girls as well. And of course, you're, you're, you're a fan as well. You watch the men from the Big Bank most yeah. Saturdays. I'm not sure if you'll be doing so this weekend, but um, to be there on a Saturday watching the, watching the men's team and then knowing that on a Sunday you'll be playing there, I guess growing up you probably didn't think you'd have that opportunity, but how much the women's gr game has grown now, yeah. you, you, know, you know there is going to be that opportunity. Yeah, um, I think every Saturday uh, for like, the last few seasons, as many as I can, I've watched normally from the Big Bank or with the girls in the, in the Stansfield stand. So, yeah, when I was little, it was always like a dream. You obviously always think about it, but you didn't really see it. I think the first game that I watched there was when uh, we at City played Buckland and Abby Britton scored a screamer for, <laughs> against them. And But, like, Bondi and Sarah and stuff were all playing for Buckland at that time. I think that was one of the first times the women's teams played there, and I think I was probably about 15, 14, 15 then. So I knew once I'd saw that more that it's a possibility and then obviously when I come through and then getting the opportunity especially my first game there against Argyle and winning was like amazing but the times after I've also played there has also been great. How do you say your season personally has gone because you're scoring for the first team and for the reserves as well? Uh, yeah it was tough when I come back there was a lot of work to do because um, obviously I didn't I did a little bit of pre-season here but not really anything. I think I played one game because by the time I'd re-signed, that was all that was left. Um, so I played a few games in the reserves, sort of found my feet again within the club while training with the first team and stuff. Um, scoring goals, we were doing well, doing well the um, reserves were. And then I think I got my, like my first consistent start of runs just before Christmas in uh, the first team. I think I scored my first goal at Abingdon away. And then... Yeah, I've sort of kicked on from that. I think getting the first goal in within the first team was a massive confidence boost. And now I've scored a couple more. It's a lot more settling. I feel like I'm settled again now. It's obviously been a fantastic season. Um, won every game apart from one in the league, which is against Bournemouth, who you know have the same record. It's looking likely it'll be us or Bournemouth that, that get that top spot. How exciting is it? That, that race for the title and, and to have two teams that are so, so good and probably both deserve to go up. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, we both, I know Bournemouth recruited well. Uh, we both recruited well. Uh, the run the running of both of us is very like intense all the time, like especially having to play them last game of the season. So it's sort of, well, if we win all our games up to them and they do, it's sort of a bit like a cup yeah. final. Um, but yeah, we probably both do deserve to go up, um, but that's the way the league is, you've got to win it to go up. Um, but yeah, I think we've done so well, it would be a shame if we did lose, but I know the girls are like proper, proper, we're all focused very well, we really want to achieve this goal. Uh, and what are you expecting from this weekend? Maidenhead, of course, the last team actually to w to win a league game in Exeter. So that, that's quite a fit. But I think it's, that was 2022, 20, so it's been yeah. quite a while. Uh, yeah, I think they are a very good side. Um, obviously, they've got the backing of the men's, which is quite a good um, club there as well. Um, yeah, they're d decent side. They're tricky side. Um, I didn't play them away at the beginning, but I know they did create stuff. They did do well. Um, they play out quite well. They have quite quick wingers. So, yeah, they, they are a strong side. And obviously, they were the last team to beat us in a league game, which obviously is in your head. Um, but I think the girls will have enough to hopefully beat them. And just as you you guys up your game at SJP, as we've always seen, it's always a fantastic game of football. We always see the away team as well. They always seem to up their game. It always seems to be a really, really good game when, when it's played at SJP. Yeah, it is. Uh, I remember Moneyfields, when we played Moneyfields at the beginning, I, w I was in the crowd and Moneyfields were proper up for it. Like They came, I think they came from behind to draw level at some points. Um, but yeah, I think Maidenhead will definitely be up for it. Um, like you said, the occasions, big occasions, so 
they'll be up for it more than what it would be usually. So, yeah, I think both teams will be excited with a lot of hopefully a big crowd uh, there. So, yeah, I think both teams will be very, very up for it. And just finally, what does her game two mean to you? Of course, the, the her game two is the umbrella f- for this, you know, double header weekend. Her game two, I think, is massive. Um, they've brought out a lot of things in football that needed to be brought out, and like still doing it now, identifying things that aren't right. Um, they've done a lot um, in doing that and fixing things, and I think it's starting to really kick on now. Um, a lot of clubs are like dedicating fixtures to her game too, and like we've done it for a very long time now. Like us as a club is very good at doing that. Um, but her game two is something that I wouldn't have had had nothing like that when I was younger. So now that the girls are growing up, coming through a GDC or in just the normal grassroots club, is they're lucky to have something like that, uh, something to look at, because there's always um, positives coming from that. But also highlighting the things that aren't so good as well and identifying them. Connie, thank you very much and uh, best of luck on Sunday. Cheers.